Hi, welcome back. On this video here, we're going to be learning how to pass parameters into our functions. On the last video, I almost told you how to do this, but we didn't go into more details about it. On this video, I'm going to show you exactly how it's done, all right? So we know how to define functions. Now we're going to find out how to pass parameters. This will make our functions a lot more flexible. We can do a lot more things with it. So this is what we had in the last video here. We had a function and I said to you that these parameters are used for something but we were we didn't do anything with them and now we are going to use it on this video here. On the last video we I showed you how to make a function and how to call multiple multiple functions with that same function. So we call something say something right here and then we call calculate and they both did something different. All right? One printed out some text on the screen the other, the other one made some calculations. Now, even though this is good, this is still not that very flexible, all right? So I'm going to show you how to make this actually a lot more flexible and a lot more useful, all right? So first of all, let's go ahead and open up blank.php and let's do a save as, and I'm just going to say um, passing params for parameters. And then just gonna call it. I'm gonna call it functions. Php. All right, that's a weird name for a file, right? But anyways, let's go ahead and open our PHP tags here. All right, perfect. And another thing that we gotta do is open this in the browser so that way we can see what in the world we are doing, right? The magic that we will be creating soon. So. Hopefully you're not sleeping on the other side and you're paying very close attention because this is very important. So we know that we define a function just by, you know, using the keyword function and then we write the name of the function, whatever name we want. So in this case, I'm just going to say, you know what, I'm going to call this function greeting because that's what we're going to do. We're going to be doing. So I'm going to put a parenthesis there and then the curly brackets. All right. So we know how to do this. Let me just cover this we don't need it right now alright so what can we do here so what I'm going to do is when I call this function and I'm just gonna put this here because we got it that's this is what we need to call the function right we need to use the name of the function by uh, following by a semicolon right With the parenthesis followed by a semicolon and this is how you call it the name, parentheses, and a semicolon. And this is how you make this work, whatever's inside here, right? So what I want to do is I want to create, I want to pass a parameter to this function. From here, when I call it, I want to pass some values here that will go inside these parameters, and then we can use it inside the function. I hope you're understanding this. So I'm going to put some parameters when I call the function right here. I'm going to put some something here, right? It's going to be a variable or some text or string, whatever I want to pass it, or numbers. And then I'm going to put something else here. And this is going to be the same information that I'm passing right here. It's going to be right here. The function is going to think it is. And then that information that's here is going to be available inside the function. Right, so that's what passing parameter is, and that's how we're gonna do it. So I'm going to pass a a variable called message into the function. Right now, it's, it's gonna say that because it's missing an argument right here. Of course, we know that. Um, well, we haven't used this, so that's why it's giving us problem. But anyways, so we created a variable right here. Okay, now we can use it inside the function. I know this might look weird, but that's that, that's the way it is. So I'm just going to say echo message. Actually, as a matter of fact, I'm not going to put it that because we have the variable right here. So I'm just going to use it inside the function. And now we have a big problem right here. It's like we have another line that's, you know, giving us a, a error there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass what I want to say here because I want to pass a parameter. I want, remember this value that's going to be here is going to be the same as here. So whatever I write here is going to get translating here and then it's going to get, we're going to be able to use it inside a function. And whatever we pass through here, we are going to echo it out. So what I want to do is I want to pass some parameter. It's going to say, hello, student. Look at that. 
right? Isn't that magic? Beautiful. So now we made our function a lot more flexible. Look at this now. Every time I want to do anything, I could just change. Every time I want to use this function, and the major job of this function is just to greet. This function is going to do a message. So we can have this function here for a, let's say, for example, you have a website and you have a customer and you want to execute this function every time the customer goes to your, your website. All right, so you're going to maybe use an if statement, say, if the customer is on home page, I want you to, I want you to greet him. All right, so you will use an if statement, and then you will put this function there, and then you will say whatever you want to say to the customer, like this. For example, hi, customer. How are you? You see that? So you could do that. You can even make this a variable also, and, you know, handle it that way too. I mean, there are multiple things that you can do with it. Now, let me show you another way of doing this. So for example, let's say, and let's, let me put this in, let me just comment this out so that way you can have it in your course exercise files. And let's make a new function here real quick. Let's open our PHP tags again. I'm going to show you another simple function here. We're going to make another one and we're going to call this calculate. All right, very simple from one, very similar to another one we made, but this is going to be a lot more fun to do. All right, so what I want to calculate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable. As a matter of fact, let's do it like this. I want to create a variable right here called number one and then divide it with a comma. That's how you put multiple values in here, right? Divided by a comma, all the ways. And number two. So now every time I, I call this function calculate, watch this. I have to pass it two parameters because I got two parameters right here. So if this first parameter here has to be, for example, has to be the same, it will be the same as the first parameter right here is in order. So this 12 is going to be number one. This 24 is going to be number two. So if I pass it 12, this variable is going to have, is going to contain the value of 12. All right? Just make sure that you know that. Now we can do something like this. Let me just take this off. All right? We can do something like maybe, I don't know, um, sum, make another variable. And let's just make sure that we put a dollar sign there. And let's just make a function that does a calculation. Let's say adds number one and number two, just to make it simple. Right there. Now we have a problem here because we haven't passed any parameters. But look at this now. And I want to echo that sum out. All right? I'm going to explain to you right now if for some reason you don't understand what's going on. All right, and what I want to do is I want to add 48 and 48. Save 48 and 48 is 96. All right, so hopefully you understood what happened here. If not, don't worry about it. I'm going to explain it to you right now. So we make a, we made a function called calculate, and we are passing two parameters here. All right. These variables here are empty right now, unless I put some type of value in there. And I put that value when I call the function. So right now on variable 1, I put 48. And on variable 2, I put another value of 48 when I call the function. Right now, if I have this like this, it's not doing anything. It's not even working. Right? It will not work until I call the function. So everything here right now is just not doing anything. They're all variables and it doesn't even have any values until I create the values right here. Okay? So, when I call the function, I pass number 1, 345, and I pass number 2, 3,462. Then I make another variable because I want to have the calculation of number 1 added to number 2, right, contained into another, in a variable. I want that sum. I want that whole calculation somewhere. 
So I assign the calculation number one, number two to this variable, uh, this variable called sum. And here, what I'm doing with sum is I'm echoing out on the screen the calculation of these two numbers together. And what are these two numbers together? These two parameters that I'm giving it right here, whatever parameter I give it here. So now you see this function is actually very flexible because we can actually call this function, let's be a little more descriptive, and we can call this function add numbers. Look at that. All right, and of course we got to change the name here because now we are we were calling a function that did not exist. So now this function add numbers is going to add whatever I pass it through here. So you can make functions like subtract, multiply, divide, calculate the perimeter of the square, calculate the you know uh, the area of a, uh, I don't know a square, a circle, a rectangle, whatever. You can make functions like that. Very cool, right? So this is what this is how you pass parameters into a function, and then you you know you take the data and do something nice with it. You make you make your function a lot more flexible, portable, and I mean you can do wonders with this uh, little trick here. So, anyways, I hope you learn a lot on this lesson here, and I'm just excited that you're gonna learn a lot more on the next one. So let's go to the next lecture. Take care.